Now, microcurrent has, is also a really big part of my practice. And when I first began to introduce homeopathy into my practice, I read the article about Sam Sneed. Uh, this was in uh, 1998. He had a dramatic improvement of his, of his vision with uh, microcurrent. And I called up the president of uh, MicroStim, Joel Rawson, and, and, and ordered 10 microcurrent machines. And I just wanted to see if it had any validity. And much to my surprise, um, I treated 10 people with macular degeneration, and seven out of the 10 had an improvement of vision. And the whole thing with microcurrent made sense to me because microcurrent uh, does three things. It stimulates blood flow, it increases cellular activity, and it can reduce scar tissue. Microcurrent is widely used in uh, the sports, physical uh, medicine, rehabilitation industry. Um, uh, plastic surgeons are using it for facial rejuvenation. In fact, the number one use of microcurrent in the world is facial rejuvenation. Uh, it's also used by transplant surgeons, orthopedic surgeons, uh, on and on. Uh, because it does those three things. It improves blood flow, stimulates cellular activity, and reduces scar tissue. There was an article done by a Dr. Chang, and this was published in a prominent uh, journal on orthopedic research, where he looked at the effect of microcurrent um, on the skin of a rat. And what he did is he harvested the skin on one side that was treated with microcurrent and then compared it with the non-treated side. And they did histochemical studies looking at different cellular parameters. And he measured a 500% increase in ATP activity. 500%. Not talking about 5 or 10%, that much increase. So we're dramatically improving cellular activity. So what are the benefits of microcurrent in treating eye disease? Is that we're improving blood flow. Uh, and that certainly was going to benefit people with macular degeneration and people with glaucoma because the big problem in glaucoma is you have a decrease in circulation to the optic nerve, which causes death of the optic nerve and loss of vision. It also improves cellular activity. And many of you have you know, consulted with your eye doctors and you've asked them, what about microcurrent? Do you think that'll help me? And the doctor will say, no, there's no evidence that it works. Uh, or you're wasting your time and money. But if you would ask that same doctor, doctor, is there a way, if I could improve the blood flow to my eye, would it help me? If I could improve cellular activity, would it help me? And the doctor's naturally going to say, of course it will. Now, microcurrent has really become popular. Lance Armstrong, who's won five Tour de France's, travels with a doctor that administers microcurrent to him every day. Right after he races, he gets microcurrent therapy to improve his vitality, blood flow. And I spoke with his doctor, and he had a hairline fracture after one race. And normally, he would have been off for a couple of weeks, and they healed the hairline fracture overnight, you know, by stimulating the blood flow and, and the metabolic activity. Uh, recently, a couple of years ago, um, the wide receiver for the Philadelphia Eagles, Tyrell uh, Owens, shattered his leg, and he was supposed to be out for the season, and microcurrent rehabilitated his leg so he was able to perform in the Super Bowl. So we're seeing all these dramatic things with microcurrent. And uh, for me, the biggest advance in microcurrent occurred when I began using frequency-specific. Uh, for the first five or six years of my practice, we were just using generic microcurrent. There were certain frequencies that improved inflammation or reduced inflammation, certain frequencies that improved vitality. Now, the whole business about frequency specific is every part of the body has a certain frequency or vibration. And this kind of made sense to me because being a homeopathic doctor, we're dealing with vibrations or frequencies. So, we try to match the frequency of the tissue. Like, for example, the retina has a certain frequency. And if we send a frequency that's in harmony to the retina, 
it's going to help revitalize it or give it more energy. Much like if you had a, uh, an E-sharp tuning fork and I vibrate it. All of a sudden, if I had two E-sharp tuning forks and I vibrate both of them, three of them, there's going to be a certain harmony. They're going to support each other. So you can see that if we send the right frequency to the tissue, it's going to give it more energy. The big advance is that we, have a, we send in a second frequency that is in disharmony with the pathology. So let's say you have scar tissue or retinal hemorrhage or drusen. When we send that frequency in, in disharmony, it reduces the effect. So one channel is disharmonious to the pathology. The second channel is in harmony with the tissue. So part of what we do is we identify the problem that you have. And then we send in different frequencies to see how your body will respond. And just like in homeopathy, if we get the right remedy, there's a dramatic improvement. The same thing in frequency specific. If we identify the right frequency, then there's going to be a dramatic improvement of your vision and vitality of the eye. So we want to match those frequencies. Uh, just to the side, I, I had the pleasure of uh, treating Sam Sneed uh, with microcurrent. And uh, this was at his home in, in Florida. And I treated him for a week under the supervision of his medical doctor. And in return, he gave me golf lessons. So everybody always asked me, what, th what did he tell you about the golf? They don't care how he did with it. How Sam did with microcurrent, they want to know how, what was my golf lessons like, and I, I tell people that, well, Sam, first day, he just looked at me, looked at my swing, then he finally said to me, well, Dr. Contract, here's what I want you to do. Just cut back a year and just give it up. <laughs> <laughs> but he did, but he did give me some good pointers and help my golf game. And uh, during that week treatment with Sam Sneed, um, he had a dramatic improvement of his vision and his family doctor was there and his family doctor said to me, you know, if I wasn't here observing all this activity, I would have never, never had believed it. But, you know, microcurrent is not a magic bullet. And one of the reasons why we introduced the lecture by talking about nutrition and detoxifying the body and minerals, you know, microcurrent will not be successful if you don't have the right foundation in your body. And a good friend of mine who's an ophthalmologist in Texas who also does microcurrent, Dr. Jerry Tennant, he feels that microcurrent will not work effectively if your zinc levels are not adequate. Because what happens, I like to describe microcurrent therapy to retinal pathology as the retina cells are kind of constipated. As we get older, the blood flow decreases and the retinal cells are not working as effectively. They get constipated. Waste materials accumulate and this is one of the products of drusen. You've heard of drusen that develop in the eye. So when we first start to do microcurrent, we're stimulating the blood flow, stimulating the retinal cells to function better. So toxins are eliminated in the body. So it's so critical during those early stages is to drink plenty of water so you're detoxifying the body.